Okay guys, so I've got a banger for you in this video. I know you guys have already seen the thumbnail, so you know that for today, I've got something special for you. Our fight to review for today is quite different from our regular schedule, but we are taking a look at a K1 fight. Mind you, we're not just talking about any old K1 fight review. This review is to prepare us all for the epic fight between Hall of Famer and 8 Division World Champion Manny Pacman Pacquiao from the Philippines against the living legend and god of Muay Thai, Workout White Lotus Benjamin from Thailand. Yes guys, this legendary fight is happening, but for today we'll be watching the 2006 K1 Max Championship where Boakau and another formidable fighter Andy Sauer, who is a Dutch kickboxer, met in the finals. This particular fight was the second time they met. Their previous fight was in 2005 K1 Max Championships where they also met in the finals and Andy Sauer managed to claim the victory. Okay, thoughts and opinions at the end. Let's get straight into the action. Well guys, that was an impressive high octane battle. I know for some of you, especially long time viewers on my channel, are mainly interested in boxing, but from a pure combat perspective, I'm sure that you guys can appreciate what it takes to compete in kickboxing. Punching, kicking and knees is an intense full body workout. So of course, a victory for Boakau and this is a nice introduction to the legend for some of you who do not know him. I would actually suggest ahead of the Pacquiao fight, you go and watch a few more of his fights to get yourselves better acquainted with him and his abilities. Now guys, we have an interesting fight between these two legends in their respective areas of combat. Manny Pacquiao, who we all know as the eight division world champion in boxing and Burkhau Banshamek, who is widely regarded as one of the greatest Muay Thai fighters of all time. Now this fight likely to be scheduled in January or February comes straight after a busy Christmas period in our boxing schedule where we have fighters such as Bivol fighting Lyndon Arthur on the same night with a few heavyweights in less than one week so on the 23rd and then the Inouye Tapeles undisputed fight occurring in exactly one week so the 26th which is Boxing Day. Now I'm going to read out this article that provides us with a few more details regarding the Boakau and Pacquiao fight. Okay guys so we have this particular website called beyondkick.com it has a particular headline reading Boakau Banshamek against Manny Pacquiao six round boxing match official for WBCL legend belt in record $25 million event. Now this was written on July 22nd, 2023, this year. So we have Manny Pacquiao and Boakau on stage, obviously promoting the fight, the match of legend um, is what it looks like it will be billed as. So the boxing match titled, yes, the match of legend will happen in the first quarter of 2024 and will be broadcast worldwide. So at a press conference at Icon Siam earlier today in Bangkok, Thailand promoter and the CEO of Fresh Air Festival Co. Limited, Vinaj M. Letra Tanachai revealed the details of the fight between Burkao and Manny Pacquiao. I hope that is the way to pronounce um, Vinage's surname, but yeah, let me know in the comments if I have destroyed his name. Going on, the fight will be six rounds of boxing, three minutes each with a two minute break between rounds because these are old guys. I believe Pacquiao is about 45, Buakau is about say 40, 41, something like that. Both fighters will compete at the catch weight 70 kg. The match will be under international boxing rules approved by the World Boxing Council, so WBC, and a special WBC legend belt will be on the line for the winner of this historic bout. Vinage, I won't pronounce his surname, 
did not mention whether the bout will be sanctioned as a professional boxing bout and appear on both fighters records but Vinage, Buakau and Pacquiao emphasized that this will be a real fight not a show. According to Vinage, the event will take place in the first quarter of next year. The broadcast partners will be announced at later dates but he confirmed that the super fight will be aired globally. He also stated that the venue will be determined at a later date after the promotion decides whether this match will happen in Thailand or abroad. While Vinage did not reveal the fight purses, he revealed that the event will cost $25 million, making it one of, if not the most expensive combat sports event in Thailand's history. For Boakau, this matchup is a dream come true. He said, when I learned that I would fight with Pacquiao, I was very happy that I could fulfill my dream. Manny Pacquiao fought in Thailand twice over two decades when he won his first world title against Chat Chai Sasakul in 1998 before losing it to Medgoing Singh Surat in 1999. Okay, so yeah, that's the article. I believe that's the end. So this particular article was written in July. So we haven't really heard too much going forward, but it was hinted at by Boakau himself that the fight is still on the cards. So we have another website, it's called AsianMMA.com and as you can see the headline here is Burkow hints that Manny Pacquiao fight is on and this one was written by James Goida. You can see that it's more recent, December the 1st, so about just over two weeks ago and um, or under just under three weeks. Now we can see that Burkow Banchamek is competing under kickboxing rules tomorrow night. Um, he faces Nayanesh Ayman um, at Raja Damnan Stadium. Please let me know if I have destroyed that word also at Raja Damnan Stadium. But at the pre fight conference, pre fight press conference, sorry, the Thai star declared that his next bout would be under a completely different rule set. Okay. Earlier this year, a press conference was held in Bangkok to publicize a 2024 exhibition match between Burkow and Manny Pacquiao. Since then, it has all gone very quiet with no word on what the date or even the venue might be. It sounds like Burkow believes the fight with Pacquiao is going to happen. At the press conference, he told fans that he expected to compete in a new sport next. And this is him being quoted. I might transition into the other fight style, a style that's intense because I like a challenge. I like to test my limits. So here is the video. I don't think we need to play that. So that is what we are looking at for this particular fight. So all in all, watching this particular K1 fight, I would say that despite the strength and resilience that I can certainly see that Burkow has, this fight between him and Pacquiao is a difficult one for him, simply because Pacquiao, irrespective of his age, is still fast and skillful, and this is going to be a boxing match. So the knees and kicks that Burkow is known for will not be a weapon of choice that he can call upon. Anyway guys, that's all for now. I really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Please remember to smash the like button if you have enjoyed watching this particular update. Leave a comment in the comment section if you want to add anything about Boakau or Pacquiao. So until my next one, peace out.